Okay. Let's do the first example here. I'm going to fill in this chart real quick. So let's plot this. We got 2, 4, 3, 9, 4, 16, 1, 1, and negative 1, 1. They're kind of scattered as far as the order, but it doesn't matter. We can still plot them and connect the curve of the best fit. So let's start off with the first one. We'll do 2, 4. It's going to go right there, about. The next one was 3, 9, right there. 4, 16, right there. The next one was 1, 1. And the last one, we'll kind of have to go over here and guess at negative 1, 1. So what you can see, by the way, these are pretty much the same steps as determining whether or not they correlate. In this case, I need to change what this says right here. We're going to draw the curve of best fit, not the line of best fit, and then determine the relationship. So you got three options. It's either going to be a straight line, it's going to be quadratic, or it's going to be exponential. And I'll give you okay, good. We can tell from this one that the direction is going to change. It's going to go from down to up. Like I said, not everybody's is going to be the same. Kind of looks like a fish hook. But yes, if it changes directions like that, and again, the, there is a word for where it changes directions called the vertex. But since it changes directions and it's curved, the answer for this one is quadratic. And again, the name of that shape is a parabola. Parabola means the shape of a quadratic function. Now, as I was saying before, one of, those, one of the applications of quadratic equation, you could roughly model, like, um, what's it called? Um, in physics, an arching motion. You could use a quadratic function to projectiles, what I was thinking of. So there is a quadratic scatter plot. Any questions on that before we do a few more?